hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel for those of you who don't know me my name is naninga i don't know how many times i'm gonna introduce myself because this is like my 300th video but anyway guys <laughs> welcome back to my youtube channel uh today we have a jumia haul aspakawa you know there's just some specific uh websites that i tend to do hauls from i normally buy my beauty products from jumia for those of you who don't know jumia is an online platform this is not a sponsored video all the products i bought i bought them myself so brace yourself guys they are in a kenyan must go bag or a kenyan on the move bag now which is this one they were not delivered in this bag but unfortunately i didn't want to carry the box with me they came in a box um just a normal box like not a company box just a normal box they were wrapped in a box so um i did get also a couple of things from the good life pharmacy now jumia is an online platform but the good life pharmacy is actually a physical store although i actually believe that um you can also buy their stuff online uh yes so let's just get into this video and if you're not yet subscribed make sure you subscribe to this channel before you leave subscribe is the red button down below or somewhere and it will turn gray when you're subscribed and i only need one like also just one like yeah so i hope that i've gathered everything that i am supposed to do the whole with ah let me just gather just a second so the first thing that I actually got from the Jumia website is some Ghania products. I hope I'm pronouncing that name well. I don't know. I normally hear like Americans pronouncing it as Ghanier. Some are Ghania, some are Ghania. I don't, I, I'm not sure, but it's Ghania. Yeah? So this was a pack and I'm so glad it came in this pack. It looks, it has a zip. It's been so long since I did these videos, guys, so just understand if I'm rambling or just confused in some way. I sort of stopped making videos at some point, but now I'm back. And, um, all the... Huh. Dark spots something. But as in, when I just heard that name, I was just like... Dark spots, they had me at dark spots. Like, that was it. As you guys know, I'm gonna insert a video right here of how I used to look like I was really, really leopard. And... Also, I had already tested one of these products and it was amazing, amazing. Review coming up, review coming up. I haven't done a review for this product, but you're going to see it in the next one second. And it's this product, which is the Garnier Vitamin C Serum. Uh, even and Matte, yes, it looks like this. Even and Matte Vitamin C. It's a vitamin C serum and this is so far the best serum that I've ever used. I'm not even going to lie. Especially if you're the kind of person who has dark spots. If you know that you're prone to dark spots, just try this. Because I, you guys know that I've tried everything under the sun. From stuff that is 100 shillings all the way to stuff that is like 3000, even 5k. I have tried it. But this so far is the best working. I've not. This is not a sponsored video but my skin can just attest like dark spots where yes i've used foundation but like pimples where dark spots where hey i'm telling you guys like especially if you're also my age which is kind of like middle age <laughs> middle age <laughs> you never know how to say that but um if you're sort of like my age this is also really good for you because it sort of like also makes you plumper because just look just guys just just see huh i'm not going to dwell on this vitamin c serum because i'm going to do a whole video reviewing this stuff because it's just amazing when you see me buying a product for the second time just know it's amazing they also came with a vitamin c dark spot corrector now i have been seeing this dark spot corrector for a while and i'm not sure whether you're supposed to but i've never used it by the way so i'm not sure whether you're supposed to actually apply it on the spot like um what is it called like uh direct on the spot or just all over your face i'm not sure but I'll, let me try and read it oh they've just said apply twice daily to face and neck after cleansing so it's an all over the face moisturizer it's not even a moisturizer dark spot corrector and they've just said uh smooth a pea size amount evenly until absorbed ensuring all dark spots and uneven tone are fully covered vitamin c plus lemon so Helps correct the look of the skin's imperfection. This one is saying results after one week. This one was saying results after three days. Hmm? 
three days but you'll see what i think about it in the review just just look out for that review because i have to review this garnier vitamin c i have to so uh this one just says results in one week they are really good this product i also hope this one is as good as this other one yes now the third item there were only three items in this package it was like a pack and the third item of course i'm going to insert for you guys the price right here so i can see the price of the product and i believe they're still on the jumia website depending on when this video will go up i believe they're still and also i've been seeing this product which is the Ghania micella vitamin c water and it just says dull skin removes makeup cleanses plus brightens no rinse off so um yeah so what they say by no, no rinse off it means like you don't need to rinse or something i don't know but face eyes lips and no perfume so it means that uh, this is safe for you to use on your eyes and also on your lips and also on your face generally so i'm very excited to use it i hope that i will actually find <sighs> they won't react with my skin god help yeah but um if this one worked really well i really have huge hopes for this one so next product and i'm so glad that they came in a free bag yes i need this bag. now if you can following me and just put this kenya must go bag away so um basically if you've been following me on this channel you know that i'm obsessed with eyeliner i'm obsessed with eyeliner like there's no haul that i've ever done without eyeliner and i normally love liquid eyeliners uh compared to like these crayon ones i don't know whether they're called call not sure but the crayon ones right and i have been looking for an eyeliner for the longest time because the one i used to use before was from maybelline and i noticed on the maybelline website the jumia website uh not the maybelline sorry the maybelline seller on jumia didn't have the liquid liners yeah they only have like this crayon ones the calls yeah so uh so i went and bought and this is just for dramatic effect i returned it in the bubble wrap it came with but i have used it i have used it because i just could not contain myself because i've waited for a liquid eyeliner for so so long or rather a pen liquid eyeliner and gel eyeliner i don't know but this is the one that did this wing here really cute and it is by the company note and this one i got from the linton's beauty world store on jumia yeah these are linton's beauty world store on jumia so that is where i got the note precision eyeliner in black so it's just basically an eyeliner and it looks like this and as i said it made this wing as you can see it's really black it's black guys really really black easy to swatch there yeah so um, obviously i'm going to insight for you the price here and i will also link them in the description box below so make sure you check out the description box for all these products yeah but i had Mm, i love eyeliner and i really really was dying for a good pen liner setting powder and this is like a compact okay it's a full coverage powder i don't like the way the light is going and coming back when i look down but anyway it's uh, actually from maybelline you guys know that maybelline is bay when it comes to like jumia because i always have to drop by because that's where i get my makeup yeah so i will be opening this one i haven't opened it and i'm trying to build up my like uh collection of setting powders because and yeah the black opal and i think i bought another black opal one that i'm talking too much so let's just open this one and test it uh you guys know that i don't live near a physical store to test these products so i normally just blindly go on the website and hope for the best so i tried um another one let me just compare it with another setting powder that i have for maybelline i currently have one in the shade cappuccino but this one is a full coverage one and it is the super stay full coverage because i i have tried the ones that are uh, fit me but i haven't tried the super stay range by maybelline yes i have tried the fit me range and i have tried various shades of the fit me range but i just needed to try the super stay range because i have i hear that it's better than the fit me range so this is a what does it look cracked god forbid what is this it looks cracked is this not a crack yep it's a crack guys it's a crack and i am damn sure that i'm not the one who caused this crack 
because I, as you guys have just seen, I've just opened it from the paper right now. But for as long as it's broken inside, let's hope for the best because I live really far. There's no way I'm returning this. No. Still sealed, as you guys can see. There's a seal right here. Paper. So I'm just going to cut this seal. Cut this seal. And this is a shade coconut. Not warm coconut. Okay, let's see my face because I'm seeing like it's getting bright then dark then bright then dark. So this is the shade coconut. Not warm coconut, just coconut. And I'm going to compare it so with the one that I've used on my face right now. I used the Fit Me one which is in the shade 340 which is cappuccino so i'm just going to swatch this like on my hand basically it disappears on my hand then i'm just going to use this warm coconut not warm coconut let me not confuse you guys this is just coconut my skin tone is actually like neutral to cool it's neutral to cool undertone although cappuccino is actually not cool undertone cappuccino is this one this one is coconut but if this is a full coverage one it claims to be a full coverage one so let us somewhere see. that coconut is actually like neutral toned which i am to my nose it is good I need to see I feel that it is full coverage like it has covered like all the highlights most of the highlights that I had put on my face and my nose was particularly not applied any setting powder before this video my nose didn't have any setting powder before this video but right now it looks really really matte really really matte so that means that it's actually a super stay uh not super stay it's actually a full coverage um setting powder and as you can see it's neutral toned which matches like my skin tone look at my skin here and just look at this here let me just apply for the whole of my face because like i'm even sweating as you can see on my forehead you guys <laughs> along with that because i just want like a really really flawless finish i got a super stay foundation now the foundations that i normally have been using from maybelline are not super stay foundations because if i didn't really know my maybelline shed shed i didn't really know my me <laughs> at this point i feel like my tongue is supposed to be relaxing because it's like I'm, I can't talk. It's like I've stopped talking, right? I never used to do my Maybelline shade. So I would just like go for the cheapest uh, Maybellines, which are the Fit Me. The Fit Me range is actually more affordable than the uh, Superstay range. So I decided to just close my eyes and buy a foundation from there. And I got the shade Coconut. After discovering that Coconut is actually a neutral shade. As you guys know, I've been complaining about the maybelline shades that jumia has been offering because they are more for yellow and warm undertones to get a neutral toned um dark skin foundation right or even setting powder like i am neutral toned and it appears that most of the time companies just bring in like warm tones to kenya like warm yellow yellow undertoned um stuff but the one uh, for example the foundation that i've been using like even for this makeup look is actually from clinique and it is spice which is a neutral toned foundation because when i just apply like uh for example cappuccino the foundation itself i can use their setting powder but i cannot use their foundation it's just yellow literally yellow so as you guys can even see like i'm sort of like pinkish undertoned right although i'm i'm nowhere close to being light skinned but there are africans who actually have neutral undertones and i was told i read somewhere not i was told that this coconut is actually sort of neutral undertoned cool to neutral undertoned for dark skin and that is why i got it so as you saw the super stay powder went very well i hope also the foundation will go very well yes it does look like it's my shade i hope it's not so dark but what matters and i've never used a super stay uh foundation before this is my first super stay foundation from maybelline it's my first literally i don't know it would be obvious that i've ever used a super stay foundation but i've never used a super stay foundation this is my first one and i hope that it will be my shade so i'm just going to pump it on my hand god 
a little goes a long way <laughs> clearly it's as you can see it's runny i don't know whether that's a good thing but what 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 i pumped too much but let's hope when it dries down you guys are going to see like holy moly this is my foundation can you even tell where the foundation is really seriously you guys can't even tell like where the foundation has started where my skin has started am i lying let's just apply it this is not the best way but look at that just tell me like <laughs> Can you even tell like where the foundation has started and where my skin has started? You cannot even tell. And for sure there is foundation because look at even my hands. Look at my hands like the, you can see like the orange parts. Yeah, and this is like normal skin. Oh, let me do this. Yeah, you can see. But uh, basically, if you're neutral toned and you're in Kenya... <laughs> In case you're neutral toned or you're cool undertoned, I suggest that you try coconut. And especially if you're like my sort of complexion, which is like dark, but medium dark. You understand like medium dark eh? or dark, yeah, but slightly dull, less darker than maybe Sudanese dark. Yeah, so if you're slightly like this, try coconut. Definitely, it, it will be your foundation. What you got from the Jumia website is a lippy. You guys know that, obviously, I cannot leave that website without buying some lipstick or some form of lip something. And this is not the last thing in this haul because I told you guys that I picked a couple of products from the Good Life Pharmacy in Kitale here. Because Kitale is my nearest town. So I normally, there's a Good Life Pharmacy in Kitale here. So I got, I went it's there. It's a gloss. It's been so long since I bought a gloss. And it's also by Maybelline, I believe or l'oreal i'm not sure whether it's maybelline or l'oreal but i'll confirm goodness okay it just says it's the lifter gloss hydrating lip gloss with hyaluronic acid crystal i don't i'm not sure what hyaluronic helps with the lips or for i know what it helps the skin for but we'll see we'll see we'll see and i just got an, a kind of neutral shade it looks like copper well it looks like copper on the website coppery gloss copper gold bronze those three things normally confuse me when it comes to like lip glosses what color is this tell me in the comment section what color is this is this copper is this bronze is this gold i know it's not gold looks like copper to be honest it's not a l'oreal gloss it's by maybelline and it is a lifter gloss hyal hyaluronic acid lifter meaning that it's supposed to lift your lips yes and um it's in the shade crystal which is 010 or 010 yes let's just test it because of course we have to test it there is the product so you won't get a true or let me just remove this lip product really really fast and so i've removed all the lipstick whatever it is that was on my lips so this is just my natural natural lips uh maybe tinted a bit because of the lip color but just, they look pretty natural to me so it looks like this comes out very little but it's okay so i'm just gonna oh my lord oh my good it looks like an early 2000s gloss to be honest but doesn't feel like one feels amazing smells amazing I'm not the kind to like smell on the on the camera because obviously you guys can't smell and also it looks fishy but like I can even smell it from here just by applying applying on my lips. Smells very sweet, very sugary, like a sweet basically. Not like for those of you who've ever drunk a marula, it smells like a marula, but like doesn't have that bitterness to it. Holy 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 um what is it called wow this is shiny like oh, oh, oh straight up this is this is this is bomb like just just look at it like when they say it's a lifter it's a lifter you know us we don't need the lifter but it lifts you can see that it lifts <laughs> yeah so for me i think i'll need a little bit of like lip liner and all that yeah to make it better but you can basically see how it looks it looks amazing guys it looks 
it looks good it looks natural and it it feels amazing the best part about it is that i'm so happy that it feels amazing on the lips it's like soothing on the lips to be honest not just saying it to be honest it feels really really soothing and i feel like this color is really really flattering on african skin yeah definitely this crystal really flattering That's a close-up. And as you can see, I did apply a little bit too much. A little I'm so happy with these purchases. I am so, so happy with these purchases. Because sometimes the foundation shades, the setting powder shades, don't go, don't match, don't do what. But everything in this haul, like the Jumia part, amazing. Now let's move on to Z, to Z Good Life Pharmacy products. And the first thing that I got from Good Life, I went overboard. I went overboard with this size because uh, right now is when I'm realizing that this is a family size cleanser, literally. <laughs> so I bought this CeraVe. Uh, I got a message by Good Life saying that they've stocked CeraVe products in Kitale. I don't know whether it was just generally in Kenya or in Kitale, but I did get a message. And I have seen, I tried purchasing CeraVe products on ASOS, but they told me that no, that cannot be shipped to your country no 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 go back purchase another brand but not CeraVe because it cannot be shipped to your country we can ship to you Cetaphil we can ship to you L'Oreal but not CeraVe so I was like okay let me just wait and luckily after like a couple of weeks month I don't think it even reached months it was like weeks I get a message saying Good Life Pharmacy now has CeraVe products and I was like ah, did I manifest this so obviously when I did get a chance to purchase them, because I, I already had other cleansers that I was using. So when I ran out of those cleansers, I decided to go for CeraVe. Because honestly, if you're in the beauty community or in or if you're into beauty or you've even just been watching YouTube tutorials about beauty, you know how much everybody is talking about CeraVe, CeraVe, CeraVe cleansers, CeraVe, CeraVe, CeraVe. And I am telling you, I've been using it for the past two weeks and I'm telling you, it doesn't disappoint if you have like acne prone skin please try this cleanser it's the CeraVe foaming cleanser for normal to oily skin i'm not sure whether they have a dry skin one but probably they do have a dry skin one so and it says fragrance free gel moussant okay that is now foaming cleanser i believe is gel moussant in french or something of the sort if i've massacred that french i'm so sorry but like it's a foaming cleanser for normal to oily skin and it just says it has ceramides niacinamide and hyaluronic acid and when i tell you the problem is that it fell from a high altitude i put it on a high shelf and then it just it just fell and it broke but the pump still works but it's detached <laughs> but it still works but when i tell you that this thing is like i don't know this this is like one of my best purchases like and i wouldn't lie to you guys like it's one of my best 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 bestest investments i believe it was like 2000 or something of the sort but this is like the really big size because look it look it fits like my head and i have a really big head believe you me how long does it take to expire i've never bought that 12 months i don't know whether i'll finish this in 12 months 12 months from opening hmm. good luck to me but it is really good worth it worth every penny Worth every uh, deficit that I have in my makeup collection is not lipsticks, is not eye pencils, is not, you know, foundations. I have lots of foundations. Setting powder. Setting powder is a problem in my collection and I am trying to expand my setting powder. Although right now I'm, I actually have only two brands, Maybelline setting powders and Black Opal. So I did get a Black Opal one. This is the compressed powder. The one that I have is like a loose powder. This one is like a compressed powder. What shade did I pick? I picked dark. Yes, this is the shade. Dark 500. Matte finish. So, I am just going to... So, I'm just going to apply this on one side of my face. Just so that you can see whether the shade dark... At this point, I have so many layers of makeup, but as you can see, it's mattifying. Of course, they let the light come back. Wow, I have been really hitting the jackpot with these setting powders. I don't know whether it's a full coverage one like the Maybelline one, 
but it says ultra matte foundation powder is it really full coverage versatile wet or dry formulation exclusive shade id so it's like a medium coverage because we're only being given two options to set for sheer coverage apply uh on face or oily areas and then to wear as light or medium coverage wet sponge and apply evenly all over the face so use a wet sponge or like a a, a, wet, a damp brush to apply like for a medium coverage but they're not talking about a full coverage so it's not a full coverage or am i just the one who's seeing things but i can see yeah this one has like some bluish pinkish this one has like yellowish undertones yeah but they're both beautiful they're both gorgeous all i have talked so so much i have rambled on please guys don't forget to subscribe to this channel because i do a lot of beauty hauls i also do clothing hauls i also review for you products so that you do not waste your money when you're purchasing and not only that i also show you how to achieve this simple makeup looks no complex makeup looks here just simple ones sort of like beginner makeup looks yes also this hair i'm loving this hair <laughs> I, it's been so long since i wore such hair but yeah don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for persevering up to this point not persevering for enjoying the video up to this point and i truly appreciate you whoever you are wherever you are see you in my next video bye